Yeah. My name is Robert Harrelick, and the presentation I made was on the biquaternion generalization of Maxwell's equations with uh, tie-ins between those results and that of uh, Tesla and Zimmerman. There have been a lot of buzzwords about people making machines that produce scalar waves. Sometimes these people don't even know what a scalar wave is. But this lays the theoretical foundation of a physics that allows a longitudinal electric wave with an accompanying scalar magnetic wave. And so once you have those results, then you can solve partial differential equation boundary value problems that will tell you how to make a setup that produces, how to make an experiment that produces a longitudinal wave how to make an experiment that receives a longitudinal wave, detects it. If you have something, if you ha can make an instrument that detects the, the scalar wave, the longitudinal wave, then one can see for all of these different apparatuses that people have been make, making and calling scalar and whatever, you can see which of them are and which of them are not. So if you think about how engineering works, engineering works because you have equations that model what actually happened in reality. So if you want to design something, you use those equations and your equations then prove out that the design will work. But if you don't have equations, then you don't know whether or not the design will work until you actually try it out. And so engineering depends upon having a model, how everything works. For longitudinal waves, that model has not existed because Maxwell's equations in their classic form indicate that longitudinal electric waves do not exist and, and in addition there's a, a scalar magnetic wave that accompanies the longitudinal wave. Now that we have the equations we can solve boundary value problems that tell you how to set up antennas that will in fact make a, a radiation pattern for longitudinal electroscalar waves. No, um, if you go to robert at harrelick.org and scroll down to conference papers and then at the very bottom of the conference papers you'll find the slides that I used in the presentation. eMedia Press will have those slides as a PDF file that accompanies the video of the talk I gave you. So this topic is controversial in the academic setting. People say it doesn't, such a thing does not exist. This conference has people who think out of the box, who are doing things which the current paradigm in physics says it cannot be done where the current paradigm electrical engineering says it cannot be done. And so at this conference, such material is appropriate to present because people are open to it. So first, um, I'm not going to get involved with the uh, commercial side of, of making things and selling things. My contribution is in the bringing in and amalgamating uh, new knowledge. Um, what kind of things could this be applied to? So there are certain kinds of longitudinal waves which I believe are very health nurturing. And I think there are properties of longitudinal waves that actually relate to subtle energy 
and there are certain subtle energy experiments that will be able to be explained with this longitudinal wave. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.